everybody welcome back to the channel energy healing tarot one two three it's your girl empress gem here to drop some jewels i got our monthly energy message here for the sign of sagittarius and this is all placements of sag very general message here guys so it may not resonate either way give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe help the algorithm out so that the videos get out there leave your comments below if it resonates let me know what's going on don't forget to hit that bell button so you know when the videos drop. Follow me over to those social media platforms. And if you're looking for a personal, all that information is listed below. All right. So, Sag, I kind of told Libra and Scorpio that they were going to be the only ones who got the sexy wear. But I felt drawn to do your reading next, okay? And let me tell you here, you got a little thing thing. Your energy is like, you are protective as hell. You are secretive, not really secretive, but I feel like you're not really trying to let, and you guys are typically, what I observe is normally like this. You usually don't let folks like in your business, what's understood doesn't need to be explained, as my famous Sagittarius always says, but I feel that you guys are definitely like keeping some things under wraps. I feel like you're keeping people under wraps, <laughs> um projects jobs your location like you're just being buried to yourself right now like very much so to yourself um it's only on an as need to know basis with you or whoever you encounter you're not really extending your energy into any bullshit too tough you don't have time for the drama you're not dealing with it and yeah what we got here grief yeah good grief good grief I feel like people are upset with you because you're not, you know, putting them on. You're not putting them into your life. Like, you're just, you are trying to flow right now. Like, for you, it's just like, look, 2020 done been through so much. We damn near through the year. Like, Corona done took enough. Like, I don't have shit to give to a scum bucket or, you know, some bottom of the barrel bullshit. You're just, you're not entertaining and dealing with that. Focus on your happiness, I see here. I want, yeah, I saw that. Solitude, okay. All right, let's get going. It's saying we done, we ready, cut us. So yes, this is for all placements of Scorpio, however it falls in your chart. That's what this reading may fit. So let's see. We'll get the message from your soul's journey oracles here. We'll take three. We like three. One's okay. So let's see. All right. And Saz, you get two. Judgments. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. It says, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges here. So something is under judgment. Karma is being served. Cycles are closing out and completion. Like I said, you've been hiding a lot of things. I feel that things that may have been done in the dark are coming to light here in regards to things you may be doing, things that people may be doing to you. What was the first card that came up? Patience. Sagittarius, we know that's all about you right here, temperance. Um, but I accept that everything happens in divine order. Yeah, like I'm saying, this is karmic judgment coming out for a lot of you guys. Like a lot of cycles and circles are just like closing up. It's happening. Things are coming front and center and with acceptance i am learning to accept the things that i cannot change you guys are accepting things for what they are whatever news it is that you're getting you know or whatever um whatever is being bought to you you're just accepting it for what it is for face value and you're keeping it moving because i feel that a lot of folks they don't know what you know and that is like heavy with that secret emphasis let me get these glasses off but that's heavy and that secret emphasis there is that a lot of people don't know that you know or they're not sure of what you know. That's what I'm saying. Like you've been keeping things, a lot of things closed off and hidden from folks. You know, you're not really um, engaging right now. I feel like you're allowing people to show you their true colors. You're allowing people to just show their true colors. You're letting their actions speak for themselves opposed to you having to do all this digging. You're being patient and letting people hang the it's like you gave them the rope and you're being patient and watching people hang themselves with it okay crazy enough i'm bad and bougie it's cranberry juice okay sag main energy for you guys in the month of august 
what you know about this energy, what the universe is trying to show you about this. How did we get here? What brought us to this from the past? No, I'm right. Where are we really trying to get to? Where are we trying to go? This is you right now, Sag. This is how the world sees you. Here's your hopes and fears. And this is the outcome. I wanted to say the brilliant outcome. And I'm, I'm just feeling. I'm feeling that. Underneath the deck, you are grounded in a motherfucker with this base chakra, okay? In authority, Aries energy here that you could be dealing with. But, um... Yeah, definitely you are grounded, you are in control, you are setting boundaries, can't nobody cross you. That's what I'm saying, like you just sitting back, you done gave folks the rope and you sitting here and you waiting to see how much they gonna hang themselves with, okay? But you grounded right now and you not, you not coming up off that pedestal, you not coming up off your throne, you not bending over, letting that crown drop, none of that. You're not engaging and doing none of that. There will be none of that around here, okay? Give me one second, guys. Sorry about that, Sag. But yeah, so let's just get into it. Oh, wait, my bad. Yeah, Rebel Deck, she starts with, don't fucking force it. That patience, okay? Seriously, just do it. Just sit back and, ex and hang out. I feel like the acceptance, just accept whatever it is that comes. I mean, like I said, you sit in there with this authority look on your face. With your arms crossed, like, okay, whatever, yeah, and there's somebody behind you who's heartbroken. <sighs> I don't know why, but the destiny is changing on this deception that is around you. Like I said, you gave somebody the rope, and you just like, whatever, you break your own heart. Um, I feel I'm seeing people spying on you, watching you, and they're hurting themselves by seeing what it is that you're doing, seeing that you're in control, that you done bossed up, that you done leveled up, and you done moved on. People are feeling hurt by that. Oh, wow, right? What are you supposed to do about that? What you got under here? Following your intuition already. Staying grounded while you're doing it. Main energy for this month, guys, is a new beginning. It's a new beginning. Who got this to start off their reading? Libra, I want to say. But it's a new beginning for you guys in the month of August. Okay. Aries energy again. Could be dealing with somebody who is Aries or has lots of Aries in their chart. But new beginning here for Sagittarius. And you know that already. That's where that judgment is coming in. You're just waiting for judgment. You're being patient. Because once the judgment comes in, then you know you got like all the green lights is a go on moving forward. You don't have to worry anymore. There will be no more shit coming into your life like as far as what this past energy is that probably had you unstable erratic you know angry <laughs> kind of going crazy not being able to set boundaries I'm you know somebody was messing with you mentally you know wasn't taking you serious because I'm seeing now for you to come off as being grounded and the authority like come on that's like big changes like that's like to come, if you're coming into that now with this new beginning, it's just like you allowed somebody to like, or maybe not even allowed somebody to do it. I'm honestly picking up that it was like some manipulation tactics here because especially with that don't fucking force it. I feel like somebody was forcing themselves onto you and you were being weak and, you know, just dealing. But I feel you got back on your feet strong here. Especially with this Knight of Wands, this is your energy here. You're no longer going back and forth about your new beginning here. No longer allowing disappointments to come in and stop you from going towards what is truly yours here. That is, yo, when it's just, ooh, this judgment. Guys, you got to leave your comments. Let me know. All right? What you know about this is firm foundation here, okay? You know that you're solid. You know that what you have is solid. Two fours right here. That is stability, Okay? But you know that what you have is something that's solid, is grounded, is well supported. It doesn't matter how challenging it gets. It's you you're well supported. Like you you can handle it. You can you surpass all challenges that are brought towards you in this new energy that you're embodying. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Stable as hell. This is really the king of pentacles, not the knight, okay? Uh, yeah, this is really the king. Am I bad? That is you coming out. That's Knight of Wands. I always forget that the knights are kings in this deck. 
But um, yeah, either way, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that's you knowing that you're going towards a new beginning, not going back and forth still about it because you have taken your time and have become this stable person. You could be married, you know, could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with this energy as well, you know, but at the end of the day, you are solid, you are stable, you are nurturing, you are providing. This is still an emperor status type of feel here because emperor, I think a married man, somebody who's a father figure, this is the same energy that this knight of this gives off, aka the king of pentacles. And that's where you are right now. You're solid here. Could be dealing with a Gemini here, but you're solid in your relationships. You're solid in the relationship that you are in. It's very stable and grounded and you know that. And you're ready to keep moving forward with this relationship because this relationship is exactly what you want it what you desired here okay it's something that is grounded and stable all right what the universe is trying to show you is that you've been suffering in silence you've been stressed out looking into the horizons trying to seek some answers here um that's what i'm don't force it i'm telling you it's coming those <laughs> it's coming but the universe is showing you that you've been suffering it's been throwing you off you have not been able to get as grounded because you've been sitting in this suffering type of feel. Okay, I'll be making sure. It's like five is kind of like my limit, okay? <laughs> First card, yeah, you've been suffering about some deceptive energy, about some lies, some deceit, somebody who could have been lying to you here. You know, somebody that you knew you probably had to cut off because that's two swords taken away. Something that you knew you had to let go that left you at a crossroads here. Here's that too that I was feeling, that decision here. Something that you knew you had to move away from. You were in, like you're up in the air. The universe is showing you that you were sitting here battling with some deception that you ideally didn't need to battle with. You should have just cut it off. Family dynamic, past situation, past lover or whatever. Something that once brought you emotional fulfillment. But yeah, the situation has changed. Karma has changed on that situation, like I said. And it's time to take a new action here. Karma, judgment. I said that in the beginning. Yeah, something that you've been holding on to. Something that you thought was stable. Something that you thought was solid. I'm seeing here with this energy. You've been suffering in silence and giving your power Something that you know that you have as a stable provider, but you've been giving it into a situation that was causing you to suffer in silence. What brought us here, Sag? Standing your ground. I feel like you stood up to this person of the past or whatever it was that you're releasing. This um, infidelity, this deception, this past um, romantic situation, family dynamic or whatever. I feel like you finally stood your ground when it came to dealing with this. This is when that grounding comes in, that base chakra. But you stood your ground when it came to this. And I feel that's what's, you know, progressing all of this for while you're now able to charge with so much passion and so much fire towards your new beginning because you, you had to stand your ground in the past when it came to dealing with this person and this energy here. Yeah, somebody was causing blockages here and mental conflicts and you knew that it was a burden and you had to lay those burdens down. You stood your ground and now you're just trying to build better partnerships and alliances going forward here. I don't feel like, you know, you're looking for love with this person again. That's seven and three. That's ten wands right here. It's still a burden, I feel, even trying to move forward in the future dealing with this person. It's still a burden. I feel like you stood your ground and this is probably where you hand them some rope and it was like, look, this is your boundary line. This is all you got. I'm only doing X, Y, Z in the third. I'm not investing this much energy into that. I'm not doing this anymore. Don't call me for that. I'm not coming in early to do this. None of that. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, somebody is still going to try to manifest this partnership with you, but nonetheless, it is still going to be a burden. Judgment is still going to need to fall on this situation here. Yeah, somebody does not want to let you go. They are lusting heavy here, trying to bring balance some sort to themselves, but Leo energy as well, or Libra. This person here is trying to balance out scales. I feel through some sort of manipulation tack here, trying to grab you by your balls, trying to hold you by the balls, feeling like they have information here on you that they want to come out and speak. Let me get one more here. What's the message? Let me get one more here, especially with this magician. Yeah, seriously. Okay, yeah. Somebody seriously wants to come back in. They're seriously trying to manipulate the situation here. They really want to try to bring in some sort of balance here, I'm feeling. But yeah, this the actions that they're coming in to take. Yeah, it's like third party. There's that stress there. There's that judgment. That's a Virgo Gemini energy we have sitting here with our Will of Fortune. That's fixed energy. Scorpio. 
Leo, Aquarius, and Taurus, okay? And again, lots of the fire energy sitting out here. But yeah, definitely this person still wants to come in and try to manifest and make something work in the future here. But again, I feel that this is where that patience is still coming in and you're just accepting things for what they are, knowing that this person is still a burden no matter what, how they try to come into you, into the situation. They're coming in and still, they're manifesting, trying to work with you, but it's still a burden. It is still a burden. Regardless, it is still a burden, okay? It's still going to be a burden. I feel that the scales will balance out here because you have a new beginning. They can't stop that regardless. And with you sitting in the energy of, you know, nope, I'm not taking no shit. Th that's just what it is. They can't pull one over you. They can't pee on your head and tell you it's raining, okay? How you feel right now? You're upset and you're hurt. You can't believe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ten of Cups. This person here, this family member, friend, um, old family dynamic, whatever it is. They, it really hurts you. It upsets you to know that this person could be this way. That they were scanniving, I see, and deceitful and manipulating the energy. Like somebody was truly trying to manipulate your energy, manipulate those around you, manipulate the things that were meant for you. And it's heartbreaking to you. It's heartbreaking to you to find out and know these truths now about this person here. Yeah, but you're going to block it out. You're going to block them out. You're going to stand your ground. OK, you're still going to stand your ground. It hurts like hell when this comes to you, but you're going to stand your ground because why? Just like in the past when you stood your ground, it was a burden. You're going to release the burdens. You're still going to continue to release the burdens with dealing with this energy because it's full of lies, bullshit and deceit. There's that other 10. It says put that down and the devil Capricorn energy here. Narcissistic behavior. This person is a manipulator. They're just trying to hold you down. I am seeing somebody who does not like the fact that you're progressing and you are becoming the authority in your life. This is why this person is heartbroken and, you know, feeling some kind of way because you have moved on with your life. You've accepted things for what they were. And now judgment is freaking here. And I feel like you are able to bang the gavel. How the world is looking at you right now is that you are fully enlightened and aware of what the hell is going on, okay? This is that intuition. That is that awareness. Like, you are all around aware and know what's going on when it comes to this energy that is trying to interfere with your life, okay? I also see with that new beginnings and that night of wands that this energy wants to come back into your life quickly and try to interfere, interrupt with your new beginning, but you know damn well that you're in a stable place and that it's firm as fuck where you at. Firm, solid ground. I'm seeing a couple sevens out here already. Divine time in that play. But yeah, everybody sees that you're following your crown chakra. Are you coming? No, you're not. Again, here is that lust, that lustful energy here. That person trying to come in and grab you by the balls. Leo or Libra type energy here. But you know that this communication is coming in, could be coming in from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But they have something that they're going to say to you. This truth or whatever, this clarity is coming out. Everybody sees that you have it. You got the juice right now. You're knowledgeable. Your intuition is on fleek. You're being enlightened. Somebody is coming in to enlighten you as well with some news. And it's very truthful and honest. They snatching the mask off these bitches, okay? Somebody is coming in with some ugly truth that will snatch the mask off a bitch. And let me tell you something. I'm not sure if this person's going to be able to get out of this situation. Yeah, because they're, that lustful shit that they keep trying to bring to you is a conflict. It's a conflict. And that's what's coming in. Somebody's about to, ooh, child. All right. Your hopes and fears right now, Sagittarius, is your own energy. Having patience. Watching the seed grow. Allowing divine time into play. Or just hoping that this is divine timing right now, that this is what it's supposed to be. You're hoping that the information and things that are happening to you are meant to happen or that, you know, they're working in your favor, I'm feeling. You're hoping that the things are working in your favor, that, you know, um, I'm, I'm hearing karma, 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 karma. And you're just like, yo, what side of karma am I on? What side of karma am I on? I feel like you might be on a pretty good side. Well, you know what side of karma you're on. You know what side of karma you're on. Let's see. Let's get this up. Yeah. Have patience here, though. Don't move forward. Don't make any rash decisions. The divine time is at play in your life right now. If you're wondering what's going to happen, 
Just accept things for what they are. You do not need to move forward. This is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, okay? You do not need to move forward when it comes to dealing with this. Let your ancestors and the universe take care of this energy for you. Judgment is on the table, all right? Yeah, they're going to cause this heartache and loss to themselves. Through every, Their karma is going to circle back around them. You don't need to do anything. You can take the information that you know and just hold it and stay grounded here with this base chakra. Keep a straight-ass face like this emperor right here, okay? You don't have to show no face or nothing to this person. So let's see your outcome. And we spoke of this, this awareness here, okay? With that crown chakra, you are very aware. You're going to be able to manifest and you are going to be too enlightened. Like I'm telling you, all these puzzle pieces are going to fit in and you're going to know what the fuck is up. And when it hits you, I'm telling you, it's going to be like a breath of fresh air for you. But whoever is receiving this judgment, I... Whoever this person is with that three of swords energy, that heartache, heartbreak, this jealous person, envious person, somebody who just wants to manipulate in your life, they're going to hit it. They, they're going to feel it hard, okay? But you got awareness as your outcome. You're going to know exactly what's going on. Virgo, Gemini energy here. But yeah, you're going to know what's going on. You're going to know how to move forward with this person. Ain't going to be no more fears or worries or whatever. All of that shit is going to be closed out. That cycle is closed out and complete. It's closed out and complete. Yeah, I'm fin like the person is like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I got caught. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yup. Truth and clarity, what I'm telling you. That is the outcome. You, you done manifested it. The truth is here. The truth is going to show you. You need to move forward. Focus on your coins here, okay? Don't get tied up and tied down by these blockages and these little minions that want to stop you in the middle of, the, of your tracks. Don't worry about them at all, all right? Let's close you out with your rebel deck because I feel like my phone is about to die on us, Sag. And you have one message, Sag, and it says that project, that person, that idea is waiting. Go after that shit. The world has your back. So I feel, you know, if you know somebody knows something or whatever, go to them and get the information. Um, you may not be willing to hear or know what it is that is coming towards you, but the universe is here to support you and back you with this and anything that you're thinking of that you want to go do go ahead and do it because again you got the support from the universe you have this new beginning out here don't go back and forth don't go and deal with the past because you will mess with your future allow your concerns to fade away with the past so it says you are being shady seriously do it okay and i don't feel like you guys are being shady i feel like like I said, somebody who is being a burden to you is being shady. So you, Sagittarius, need to just do it. You need to cut their ass off, allow judgment to come in, allow your concerns to fade away because you know what the truth is. And that, my dears, have been your message for August 2020. You know what to do. I'll catch you at the next message. Peace out.